you. What? All right. Um. So, uh, we got season two, episode seven of An Idiot Abroad. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Season two, episode seven. Yes. Yes. Yeah, man. Uh, the last episode was epic, man. I I cannot believe yeah, man. Carl. <laughs> yeah. Man. Got on a plane, and on yeah, top of a plane. On top of a plane. Before While he, I was in the air. Yeah, before he got on the stage with in some leather pants and shit. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So he decided that over the leather pants, and I, and I don't blame him. But I mean, yeah. you know, he he probably wouldn't look good in leather pants. You know what I mean? And strutting stuff on stage. Yeah. And then again, like I said before, Carl can make America look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, so where's he going now? This is climbing Mount Fuji. Ah. He's climbing Mount Fuji. Okay, okay. He's climbing Mount Fuji. He's climbing Mount Fuji. He doesn't fare too well during, uh, like, long treks. You know what I'm saying? Nah, not with the, with the gorillas. He did. No. Although, the shit, no. like, eight hours or something. Like, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, wouldn't Saturday fare well Radio. either. Nah, man. Nah, man. Long, yeah. long, long trips he goes on. Yeah. But, alright, man. Let's go. I'm ready. Alright, you ready? The bucket list. The bucket list. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on African safari. Encounter the world. None of those are on my bucket list. No. The ultimate things to do before you. Bucket list look totally different. Yeah. If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. It's difficult. He was so suspicious hey. after the last time. There we go! <laughs> <laughs> We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. He's like Romeo and I wonder how many people that died from that, that land there island thing. I imagine there's a couple broken necks. You know. People die every weekend from the land island thing. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you that. do things that yeah. other people want to do before they die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. This is his list. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky and Steve are evil. <laughs> They're evil. Very. Climbing Mount Everest. People dream of doing that. Not doing that. What about climbing Mount Fuji in Japan? If, if it's made for tourists, I'm guessing it's not that. It wasn't made. No, it wasn't what I mean, made. a lot of people. If a, a lot of people. It's like Kilimanjaro. Right. A lot of people used to say that's big and what have you, but now everyone does it. As long as it's not like that, mm. I nearly died once <laughs> on, a, on a hill like that. Because I started running. Oh, man. Going downwards. I couldn't stop. I kept chucking myself <laughs> on my arse and I kept bouncing back up. The wall. It's not funny. I nearly went into chips, like through a bottom of a slate wall. Uh, into chips? Yeah, like smashing through a slate wall, it would have just cut me up into like, you know, that sort of chip, <laughs> chip shape. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would you have been made into chips? Because there's no cement in it. It's just like a man-made slate. We were up there. Oh, I was getting mean... slate with my dad. Right. So you were, you were thieving? No, it's natural. Right. You can't yeah. nick off nature, can you? <laughs> so you were running down a hill with slate in your pockets and in your No, arms. just in your hand. Right. I had hold of it like that, going down the hill. Started to pick up a bit of speed. Yeah. Before you know it, my dad's going like, don't drop it, I'm going, no, uh, and the weight of Your it. Your dad said, don't drop it. Yeah, I'd rather you were made into chips <laughs> than to drop any of this precious natural slate. Yeah. And my dad's mate said, I had to jump and sort of grab me around the legs. Cut all my face and everything. It's <laughs> 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 Yeah. This is going to be a doddle to you. Yeah. Um, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> that's what he's thinking. That's pretty optimistic. Tokyo. Tokyo. You know. Okay. Is he gonna eat some food and show? Okay. Uh, love kitties. Uh, kitties. Cat cafe. You pay to come and get pet cats. How much? <laughs> Fifteen quid. Fifteen pounds. Just half an hour. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> right, there you go. Time starts now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the dog What are you up to? Just in a little cafe. Some cats. The cats? Yeah, it's a cat cafe. If you want a coffee and a cat, you come in. Alright. That's nice. Not really. Fifteen quid it is. <laughs> For half an hour. Yeah, They're not even friendly. Good feeling. Uh, Stroke a cat, 
it brings down your blood pressure. It's good for anxiety. You're always sort of okay. stressed. Okay. Okay. Moping around. That just chills you out. No, but this isn't helping. They're not even being friendly. They're not coming near me. Your cat's friendlier. And you know how much <laughs> that cat does me head in. I'd love to see your cat in here, you know. It would get battered the way you spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it'd be like a posh kid going to a rough school. But you're weak, because you don't do any exercise. So that bits you down, and that makes you ill. So, I've arranged some exercise for you. It'll make you feel oh, good. Oh, shit. OK, it's, um, sumo. <laughs> but I've done wrestling. I mean, there's, there's uh, nothing greater or more honourable than being bold. a champion super wrestler. It's kind of huge. They're like Makes sense. superstars over there. <laughs> oh my it's just all God. a nappy thing, isn't it, with Ricky? Making me look a knob. You I, can't look good in a nappy. Uh, you, I bet he doesn't you. look good in a nappy. It's not a good look. And it's not even a skill <gasps> that I want to learn, really, soon. Yeah! Like, what what training <laughs> he has to do is just pure... It's just eating, isn't it? That's the yeah. workout. You just get it's just big something for fat. fat people to do, which is good, because fat people haven't got many sports. You know, I suppose it gets them off their arse. <laughs> I just don't want to be under it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be under it, Carl. <laughs> oh my god. Have you seen the size of it? Oh yeah. He's going down. Have you seen the size of it? There's like two rhinos at each other. It's unbelievable <laughs> the force they're cracking. <laughs> Just that is it, that's what you have to do, you have to push him out of the ring. Are there any of them oh, that you think you could find? Oh yeah, come on down. Yeah, I'm over there with the blue shirt and glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Can we at least get out of the nappy thing? Yeah, Can we at least just say you don't need to do that? Because it's more about the pushing and the shoving and the fight than the fashion. What do you want to wear, Carl? I just need underpants. But they're not wearing pants, are they? No, probably because they can't get any to fit them. So, <laughs> Carl, yeah. How hey, Carl. How are you? Yeah. I'm all ma ma <laughs> Say again? Ma the, the nappy. Oh, ma <laughs> Let's go. Just wear these. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Is it okay if I keep these on? Ah. No. Just give it a go. Let's just have a look. Try. Try. Please, can we just try? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no. It's fine. Yeah. It is. <laughs> but, but, but I'll be facing you. You shouldn't be looking at my arse. This is fight. It's not arse competition. <laughs> it's on and I'm stuck it all in. And you will not see. Uh, Can we just try? Just wait, that ass. Look at it. <laughs> you might as well have more, man. <laughs> Boxers should never look like that. <laughs> the guy, the boxers never look like that. It's some um, uh, special yeah. sacred water or something. Ah. You're supposed to drink their their water. Could be sweat or anything, that. <laughs> Is that sweat? It's fine if I get the shits anyway, innit? <laughs> this one. <laughs> Okay, 
Yeah. Uh, you see what's up? <laughs> yeah, what's all that? It's shot to the system. <laughs> I wouldn't normally let that happen. If someone that size had a go at me, I would run. And that's what I've been given by nature. Faster legs. I've got to catch him out. I've got speed on my side. He had me like it and carry me around like a handbag. He grabbed the back of me. It's going up there. I'm sure he was checking for me prostate. No! <laughs> Ricky's always saying I should have that done at my age. Oh, man. He's left a fucking ring up there. How was it? Um. Honestly, I got absolutely battered, <laughs> thrown all over the place. Do you know that? Do you know that sort of classic nature thing of a, a killer whale throwing a seal through the air? <laughs> it was like that. If it stick a nappy on that seal, that is what you've got. Great, <laughs> uh, Got sweat in my eyes. Wasn't mine. That's a first. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was hoping that one you'd sort of he's got. Oh, man. About a <laughs> 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 you got that. Also, that he would give you a giant wedgie. That's, that's exactly oh, what shit. happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, basically, you've got your bucket list then. I haven't had mine yet, oh, but you've got man. your wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I've arranged a cosy hotel for you. So, um, go and have a sleep. <laughs> Alright? Oh, later. shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Excuse yeah, me, is King Chi Choi yeah. far away from here? <laughs> Excuse me, you don't know where King Chi Choi is, do you? No. Excuse me, do you know where King Chi Choi is? There's a hotel. King Chi Choi. King Chi Choi. Uh, King Chi Choi. Uh, do you know the like, price for that? What? Price to King Chai Cho. Is, is it there? Yeah. Expensive. Don't worry, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep asking. My, I, I don't know Japanese. King Chai Cho. King, King Chai Cho. Yeah, I'm just happy to finally get to the hotel, to be honest. Number 318. Room 318. Yes, this one's the third floor, yes. Second floor. Second. Sorry. Third. Yes. <laughs> Are you from, <coughs> am I from Rome? Are you from? I'm from London. Uh, London. London, oh. yeah. Oh yeah. London. What is this? A bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> like a morgue. Damn. <laughs> this is in your capsule room. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard about these things, man. Where's this? You ain't got no... <laughs> you can't stand up in your room. Was it convenient uh, apartments for us? You can, you can watch TV. Is it TV in there? Japanese TV. Yeah, but I can hear noise. Is that someone staying in a cubicle? Is someone playing an instrument? <laughs> can you hear that? Hmm? That noise, I'm very tired. I've had a long day. There's someone in a cubicle playing saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Uh, you can watch. Watch TV. Television. He don't understand. Don't worry about it. He it's don't know right. no English. Oh, I'm, I'm so tired. I'll sleep. I'll sleep anywhere. It's OK. I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you very much. Hey. You have a good night. Good night. See you then. He don't know no English. <laughs> he watch TV. <laughs> I'll be tired too after messing with them sumo wrestlers. Shit. <laughs> they made Japan look dope. Yeah. Know, to is that Tokyo? Jesus. <laughs> he playing the saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Monica. Saxophone bloke was at it. <laughs> bloke was having crisps down there. Morning. <laughs> Hello, mate. I was 
was the hotel? Yeah, it was like being in a coffin with a cat flap on it. So yeah. cheers for that. You wouldn't get a sumo wrestler in it. It was like a lunchbox for one of them. Well, listen, you, you probably could do with some loosening up, couldn't you? Um, so I think you'd be quite pleased with what I sorted out for you. Um, I've managed to arrange for you to do some uh, exercise, Japanese style. Apparently, people in Japan often they'll sort of get to work and then sort of you know exercise in a group. So um, I just I've arranged for you to, to get involved with that. That is a lot of people. What are they doing? Yoga? Stretching? That is a lot of people. Damn. What are they working on? Construction? They need to do this. Do they need to do this? It's like 2,000 builders here working on a massive building. It's obviously something that they do every day before they start work. It's like a scene in Glee, mm. isn't it? Or Fame. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Glee. It is, actually, shit. I remember we did some dumb stuff like this. Yeah. This looks choreographed. Yeah. You don't yeah. put the two together yeah. in a way, all that, all that dancing stuff en masse in this industry. It looks like they have to. I don't know if I'm having some building work doing, if I'd be happy. Because I get stressed out with builders at home. I've caught them doing all sorts. They've sat on their ass having coffee, doing a crossword. They never turn up on time. When they do, I want them focused on the plumbing or whatever. If I come in, I go, is, is the plumbing sorted? And they go, oh, Alan's outside doing star jumps. I'll be going, hang on a minute, why can't he do that before he got to work? If he wants to do exercise, why is he doing it in work time? And get the work done. <laughs> True. Why are you doing I mean, there's got to be more to Japan than this. I mean, what have I done, really? I've shrugged a cat in a cafe, I've, I've wrestled a fat fella wearing a nappy, and I've done some exercise with some builders. I thought it was going to be all futuristic. Gadgets, robots, where are they? Robots? <laughs> uh, oh. Damn. It looks like it shit itself. Maybe it has. I don't know how human it is. You have any mood like something? He said he walked like it shit itself. That's gonna give you a headache. Not get rid of one. What the hell? Look how complicated it is just for a toilet. Yeah, you have the, the skill of Bill Gates. He's done a shit. <laughs> it's a crisp picker upper. You want some crisp, but you don't want to get crisps on your hands, you use a crisp picker upper. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> a crisp picker upper. Oh! Oh, that's how you turn it off. Scary. I see all the things I need a robot to do is to fix stuff. In the 80s, that's what they were for, weren't they? They were in car factories, putting cars together. It's not doing that. It's piss assing about having a dance on a stage. <laughs> We've got enough dancers. I think that's the problem. It's got so advanced, it's going, I don't want to do work anymore. You can't do any of that. You can't do that stuff. <laughs> but it's a robot. <laughs> he did the robot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. Listen, what I've, what I've been thinking about is I want to invent something. I want to leave something behind after I'm dead. <laughs> so that's what I'm going right. to do. That's, well, that's okay. my plan whilst I'm here. OK. Yeah. I mean, this might be a long process. It might not be very interesting for television. <laughs> You've been in a room thinking. <laughs> Just something useful. Um, I come up with ideas all the time. I'm always saying to you or Suzanne, listen, here's an idea. I'm coming up with stuff all the time. That's why I think <laughs> this is my strength that hasn't been used yet. Yeah. I'm st where I'm stood at the moment, <laughs> yeah. they've got a plasma in the garden. 
This is what it's like in, in Japan. <laughs> it's really advanced. And I reckon I can come up with something better than that. So leave it with me. Leave it with me. All right, well, don't be pissing around wasting too much time on that. Um, <laughs> you're there to see Mount Fuji. So get yourself on the bullet train. All right? I'll talk to you later. See you later. Ta-da. <laughs> the Chris Picker up <laughs> It actually works. <laughs> I'm not going to come up with anything that's going to change the world, am I? I, I just want to come up with something that's useful. It's like these. I found these in the shop. Basically, mops that you stick on a baby's feet and they mop up. Because let's face it, for the first <laughs> three years of a baby's life, it's all take, 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 and they don't do anything. Keep you awake <laughs> at night, keep shitting themselves. Cause arguments between, you know, in relationships. They're a pain in the arse. But if you can get the baby helping out around the house, it's one less stress, isn't it? So these little mops, stick them on the baby's feet. They like to walk, they run around all the time, don't they? They're not going anywhere with it. They're not doing favours, they can't go out on errands. But they can mop the kitchen floor. <laughs> All right, Carl, uh, I know you're heading off to Mount Fuji, but before you get there, we thought you might enjoy stopping off in the countryside to explore some of Japan's ancient traditions. Um, we've actually tracked down a little restaurant where you can try the dish that started sushi. All right, it's a fish that's been fermented for years. And I know you're not mm -hmm. sort of really into your fish um, as food, but it is a real privilege to, to try it. So, um, mm. so I'm sure you'll appreciate it. All right, mate, enjoy it. Bye. Fermented fish. I'll sit down. No, nope, thank you. And that's mad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's the difference? What's the difference of doing that? Sitting there, sitting there. What, what is the point in that? <laughs> Carl? Traditional Japanese sushi. Mm. I've been eating a lot of fish whilst I've been here. I'm not a fan. Maybe you, you can enjoy. It's very expensive, very rich, I, I think, oh, yeah. rich taste. Rich? Mm. Full of, let's see, full why, flavor. Why <laughs> has it got a lid on it? Is it alive? <laughs> no. It's <laughs> dead. How often do you eat that? Actually, I have eaten once. Once in your life? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> do you, would Maybe you like some first? <laughs> no, no, I, 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 yeah, I eat didn't. always. Yeah. But, <laughs> always I eat. So. But I've learned in Japan uh -huh. all that etiquette okay. and not to be rude, polite. <laughs> Yeah. So I would like you. No, no, no. Honestly, no, 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 no. Come on, let's play by the. If, if we're in Japan, that, I say you are guests in this town. <laughs> you don't want to eat it. Right, I welcome you. Host, so guests should. Nobody want to eat it. Pass. Right. Here, guests. <laughs> oh. Stinks, doesn't it? No. It does. No. What do you mean? No. It does. No. It does. It's a good smell. That's not a bad smell. No. It's very nice. <laughs> it's a lovely box. Yeah. I'm not moaning about the delivery. The tray is lovely. Yeah. The nice little sick bowls yeah. it comes with. Yeah. Beautiful. But that mm -hmm. should be on there. Mm -hmm. Should be nailed shut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat that, Jamie. And it's off. It's like a delicacy. <laughs> It's been fermented for three years. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good, good taste, <laughs> good flavor. <laughs> I, I, I can't eat it, Jamie. I don't know if it's rude or not. <laughs> 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 I don't know how they're getting away with it. <laughs> it's not a meal. It's, it's, it's more like a challenge, that. <laughs> <laughs> me, me taste buds <laughs> have just been mugged. That's what's going on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Sausage, egg and chips. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Sausage, beans, potato cake. That's something Suzanne normally knocks up for me when I've been away. Something to welcome me back. <laughs> if I have fish, fish fingers, battered cod. I've had Pollock recently. Is it Pollock? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've had that because I didn't have any cod in the chippy. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's still throwing it. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that shit either. <laughs> Fermented three years? Three years? <laughs> Did Ricky tell you? I'm just sort of trying to come up with something. I've just got a magazine in front of me now, and looking at some of the stuff they brought out here, I don't think I'm going to have a problem. They've got an air conditioning jacket, which I don't get, because if you're hot, just take it off. I don't understand why anyone <laughs> would need that. You've got... What is that? There's just a woman with a silver thing on her head. They're selling that. So I'm pretty confident... Are you, are you confident? I see where you're going, because they come up with a lot of... And, and you sort of you're in tune with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Mount Fuji's really while you're there, mate. All the time and stuff, of course, is a welcome distraction. And you've got to be in the right frame of mind, really, to go to somewhere as spiritual and calming and meditative. Oh, shit. Mount Fuji. So, um, I've arranged for you to meet up with a, a Zen Buddhist monk. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, Carl. Nice to see you. Well, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, when you study Zen, you have to dress in as Zen monk clothing, so... I've got a problem with that. Yeah. I'm always putting clothes on. Yeah. Little outfits, little <laughs> uniforms. It's fine. It's all right, doesn't it? It's my colour, this. I thought it was going to be orange. <laughs> Pockets as well. <laughs> I think Buddhism is for me so far. It's like when you walk into a house, they say you know within 11 seconds. It's the same with Buddhism. You're wondering, I went, yeah, I like the layout, it's lovely. Got a lovely garden there, nice outfit. That's all you can go off. So <laughs> I'd like to introduce um, the way of thinking of Zen Buddhism. So let's um, start from the Mopin. <clears throat> Mopping. Mopping, yeah. Cleaning is uh, the most important training in the temple. I, th I thought we'd be sort of relaxing, meditating. Ah, Just uh, turned no, up, you no. said, let's get the mopping done. <laughs> when was this last cleaned? Um, this morning. Well, why are we doing it again? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's dirty for being cleaned this morning. <laughs> Get a splinter. <laughs> Do you know what I do at home? I have laminate and I haven't got a mop because I haven't got any room. Will that do? No, no, no. <laughs> Why not? no. First, you have to <laughs> draw a straight line. That's all right. No, you. Oh, come off it. It goes out a little bit there. <laughs> I bought some mops that you put on babies' hands. Mm -hmm. There's some baby buddies today. Yeah. It's whining. What, and yours don't? Damn. Alright then, fair enough. <laughs> That's OCD. That's not Buddhism. That's OCD. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. He's probably... He'll, he'll finish his raking and then he'll go in and just separate all his Smarties because <laughs> he only eats red ones or something. <laughs> He's got a problem there. <laughs> Would you be allowed to add fun to this? Fun? Fun. Oh, what do you mean by that? Do you want a race? Uh-huh. Might as well. Go. <laughs> you want to raise car. It is very important to practice city meditation. Oh, snap. Please do not move up at any occasion. Please do not move. All right, um, your phone's turned <laughs> off, so I assume you're meditating with your little Buddhist chum. I bet you like two little hard-boiled eggs, don't you? Sitting there. <laughs> um, it's all about um. Remember that. Uh, um. Uh. Man, twang, this all around. The head is just a spoon. You really don't mind more on the you. Yeah. <laughs>
Is that Ricky? <laughs> yeah, that's <it's> Ricky. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Damn, Carl is. <laughs> he ain't moving. I was quite enjoying the meditation bit. He went and ruined it by whacking me with a stick on my back. Right! Right! So why did he. <laughs> what the hell? Because I think I moved. <laughs> but I moved because I had a big ant on my foot. And the ants here are big ants, and they bite you just. <laughs> <laughs> And he bit me foot. I've got a bite. So, of course, I'm going to flinch. <laughs> right! Right! That's enough! <laughs> OK. Oh, that really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Paul. Why are these people mocking you today? Um. He said, you want a cup of tea? I thought, well, I've got to get to bed early. I'm up early. I've got to climb a mountain. Uh, I thought, oh, well, can it take to have a cup of tea? It'd be nice to have a cup of tea. I'm a big tea fan. It took ages. There's no way they could get a job in a cafe, because the queue would be horrendous. <laughs> so this face is facing to me. This aspect is facing to me. Well, mm -hmm. thanks for letting me have my tea before you. All right, and then and it's just still in there. front of you. Yeah, and in a way, yeah. quite like the way they made a big deal out of something that's so simple. Because at home, everything's in a rush, isn't it? They've made a proper moment out of something that we just do without even thinking about it. Sometimes I drink my tea, I don't even realise I've drank it. It's just sort of gone. <laughs> I have um, Twinings English breakfast. Uh -huh. Do you know Twinings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? But even though I can't speak their language, we had a connection there. We both like a cup of tea. Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea, yes. It's really like, there's Earl Grey. Yeah. Not keen on Earl Grey. You see, we have tea bags. Yeah. Tea Lipton, bags. Lipton's. Lipton's is yeah. very good. <laughs> no, really, I haven't got any other tea stories. And that's what tea does, doesn't it? Brings people together. Uh, we got Lipton. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Mount Fuji. Hello, Carl. How are you going? How's it going, mate? Um, I think you're about to climb Mount Fuji, and I just wanted to oh, give wow. you a sense of just how mammoth an undertaking that is, because, you know, it's over 12,000 feet high, freezing temperatures. There will be a lack of oxygen up there, so I'm very impressed that you're doing it, mate. Um, <laughs> just so you get a sense of just how amazing Mount Fuji is, I have arranged front row seats at one of the best views <laughs> of the mountain. I think you're going to find it really awe-inspiring, mate. <laughs> I can't even see Mount Fuji. <laughs> not looking. I'm not even looking. Damn. I can't. I don't want to look. Put on a plane. He can handle this. Put on a top of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Fuji tomorrow morning. Right. Um, wasn't really worrying about it that much, and then it just suddenly hit me. It's big. It's a big hill. <laughs> it's a good hill. It's got a plate long. there with it on. I mean, it even looks high up on that. Look, it's clouds by the side <laughs> of it, not over it, by the side of it. And now you're giving me all this clobber, oxygen cans in case I need that because it's high up. Wasp jelly. I've never heard of that. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Altitude tablets. Wasp jelly. 
When I left home, that's what I brought, a bit of old nut. I thought a nice stroll, some chocolate. <coughs> Enjoy the view. <laughs> I said about the marathon to you before. People treat that with respect, but in a way, I kind of think that's, that's a piece of piss, because if you do get tired and you've had enough, you're in London. Get on the number 38 bus and go home. With this, there's nothing. You're stuck up there. What are you going to do? Are we going to go on, or are we going to go back? Is he going by himself? You've got to have a guy. Track's not that bad, is it? Pretty flat. Oh, it's a trail. That's, okay. that's my only worry. I think it is good to have two people. Ben Fogel. He did it with his mate, didn't he, that crackmill bloke? Two people, look. Have you noticed? Mm. Two Coming people. Okay. It's always best to do stuff in twos. <laughs> two Ronnies. Vic and Bob. Ale and Pace. <laughs> Cannon and Ball. Oh. Chaz and Dave. <laughs> Sue and Mel. <laughs> Markham and Wise. <laughs> Ant and Deck. Dick and Dom. <laughs> Who was it with Les Dennis? That's Steve. A bit harder now, isn't it? It's a proper mountain. It's best not looking up. It's always best not knowing how far you've got to go or anything, really. <laughs> I've been overfaced. When Suzanne's mum does a Sunday dinner, it's like that on a plate. Piled, mash, Yorkshire pudding. It's like that, honestly. We don't talk for the first half an hour because we can't see each other. <laughs> I'm sat behind mounds of food. And even though I'm hungry, I go, I can't eat all that. But that's that for me. I've been overfaced. <laughs> Damn, he's above clouds. He's already above clouds. Nothing's ever perfect. Nice little pair. How do you mean? Nice Have you ever seen a sight yeah. better than that? I thought he would get But... Oh, yeah. Who put that there? <laughs> 8,800 feet. Outside. Yeah, he's still climbing. He's got to go back. How long is it going to take him to get back? He ain't got no tent or nothing. Who's that at this hour? Got no flashlight? It's Ricky. It is Ricky. Shit. Hello? Oh, I missed it. Probably just checking up on me. Seeing if I've given up. Turn round, walk back. Damn. Uh. I walk away from a lot of things in life when it does me head in. <clears throat> School, I hated it. I was rubbish at it. Didn't complete it. I haven't got married, have I? So again, something else I haven't really finished. Wow. There's some <laughs> wallpaper in that needs doing. Finished properly. I didn't even get any sort of badges for swimming when I was at school. Unless it's a packet of biscuits, I don't finish it. I think that's that's been the thing. And that's why. I, and that's why I want to do this mountain and get to the top. And that's why I want to do the invention. <laughs> invention. 2 a.m. Damn. Yeah. I don't know if this is good telly, to be honest, because it's just pitch black. You can't <laughs> see anything. 
Keep going. Keep going, Carl. Oh, I guess you sit on you sit outside of a plane, man. Like you talk all your fears, man. You can make a bunch of The sun's coming up. Not broke, that's Dennis. It was Dusty G, wasn't it? That's who it was. Torval and Dean. That's another pair. I've done it, haven't I? Completed it. Wow. <laughs> but I feel like shit. <laughs> Even though that's amazing. I feel like shite. Do you know how I wanted to come up with an invention? Whilst there was a what came up with one. Do you know the thing you put on your neck when you're on long flights? I've used that. That isn't how the finished thing would look when I, when I make it. But just to give you an idea, I've sewn that in. And whenever you sit down, you've got a cushion. Say like this rock, <laughs> it's freezing. If I lay back on that with just pants on, I get a cold ass. That's how you get hemorrhoids. <laughs> but with this, <laughs> just lean back. Oh, and as well as... No cold, great comfort, <laughs> and I can enjoy that. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Have you got a name for it? Pilco pant. <laughs> Pilco <laughs> pants. I mean, I know it's not going to change the world, but neither did the egg cup. Neither did oh, Soda true. Stream. It's just another little invention. <laughs> okay. It's all over, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Japan's done. Uh, Series is done. It's been a bit Series mental, hasn't it? Episode. The whole thing. This is the last episode. I never wanted to travel. Didn't go abroad till yeah, I was 21, 22. And now I've been all over the shop. I don't, I don't know if it's changed me that much, really. I mean, when I go home, I still like a biscuit and a cup of tea. A cup of tea and, you know, dunking a biscuit. I'm well happy. <laughs> and that's the right way to be, isn't it? Because you can be into travelling, but the world's only so big, isn't it? So eventually, you're going to run out of places to visit. Whereas biscuits, there's loads of them. Loads of biscuits. Ricky. Hello. I, uh, I came up with my invention. Fine. What was that? Oh, it's a pair of pants, and you pump up the arse, yeah. and you can sit right. on anything. I came up with it whilst in Japan, because you have to keep sitting on the floor here. They don't have chairs. Can I just say something? Go on. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Pillow pants. Uh, yeah, man. It's a clever name, like pillow. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, oh, man. And respect to Carl for finishing the clock. Yeah, Mount Fuji. That was so I did not think he was going to finish. No, 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 no. Definitely. Because you know he quit on the other one. It was the Aztec Temple or something that was on top. And he didn't go uh, all the way. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, yeah. Well, he kind of he kind of did it, you know. He could see it. Yeah, he could see it. Yeah, he just exactly. didn't go to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. But he did Mount Fuji. Yeah, that was definitely worth the wait, man. It was beautiful up there, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Didn't seem like you know it's like it's not like an Everest climb either. It seemed like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seemed like it was trekkable. Like if he was going through yeah. like snow and feet of snow on the ground and shit like that, like I don't think he would have completed that. Maybe, but you know, nonetheless. Yeah. Epic season. Oh, in Japan, man. In Japan, man. Sumo wrestling. <laughs> had oh, his God. boxes crammed up. <laughs> they got a, they got a wedgie. They look like a thong. Turn his boxes into a thong. Yeah, you guys just took them off, man. <laughs> I think it's the first time I tasted 
sweat that wasn't my own. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, yeah, it does. Very nasty. Oh, man, and that fish. Oh. Dude, it's like, why are people eating fermented fish? Fish fermented in it for three years. Why is that a delicacy? Uh, like, fermented in what? Like, like I don't exactly. Yeah, it's rotten fish. Yeah, that's all. We're right. eating rotten fish. <laughs> he said it. I should be with this on top of it and nailed. <laughs> yeah, no, that shit's shut. You bury that shit. He said, "You no, no, go ahead. You go first. Like, yeah. no, no, you go first. You're a guest. Like, nobody wanted to eat that shit." He said, "You only ate it one time before." <laughs> <laughs> you ain't yeah. seen him eat it either. Nah, he didn't see him either. Nope. Hmm. Nah, man. Yeah. Cause the chin, man. Put it in his mouth. You know? Yeah. But alright, man. So we got season three, man, right? We got season three. First, we got uh, Carl coming home. Oh, Next right, episode right, is Carl right. coming home. He's going to recap with uh, yeah, Steve and, um, okay. and Ricky. Okay. That should okay. be interesting. Yeah, it will be. Last one was ever. And then yes, we do. We have season three. We have a season three of Alright. So we got another season. Yeah, man. And that's called the moaning of life, right? That's what it no, is. that is season three is season three of Idiot Abroad, and then he has another show called Moaning of Life that oh, you probably okay. can check out too. A lot of people have been requesting it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah. Carl Abroad is something else. <laughs> 